so we will uh, see what we have seen in this chapter so in this chapter we have seen uh, two machineries so there are different types of machineries and th these machineries are classified under two categories first one is the rotary motion machineries and second one is the second one which which is the second one reciprocating yeah in a rotary motion machines there are two uh, drilling then lathe machine then milling and grinding machines are available uh, or comes under this rotary motion where the workpiece or or that tool is in rotary motion okay then reciprocating motion in reciprocating motion it means tool or workpiece is in reciprocating motion and cutting action will take place okay so in that uh, under this category uh, shaper machine planer machine slaughter machine actually hexa cutting this machine comes under this reciprocating motion yes. <coughs> then we have seen this center lathe machine this one is very important machine so this is the old version of center lathe machine um, so we have seen what are the part of lathe machine then uh, how many operations we can perform on this lathe machine so generally we have seen that generally this machine that lathe machine can be used for uh, cylindrical workpiece or maybe for uh, square workpiece okay then these are the operations that is turning step turning taper turning thread cutting facing knurling chamfering okay these are the different operations that we can perform using this lathe machine then next machine is the drilling machine now what is the function of drilling machine make a hole produce hole yeah to produce the hole in a workpiece or at a required location so <coughs> here in our syllabus we have drilling machine which is called as the pillar type drilling machine okay so this one is the diagram schematic diagram of a pillar type drilling machine so here we can observe different part that is the base then column or we can call it as pillar okay then motor here we have motor this is the belt then this stepped pulleys are there by using that stepped pulley we can uh, change the speed of this spindle or sleeve okay chuck is mounted on that and this one is the drilling tool or we call it as drilling bit okay so this is the drilling machine <coughs> which operations we can perform on this machine so reaming, trimming, uh, that uh, creating hole, then countersunk hole. So these are the operations: counter boring, drilling, tapping, then boring, reaming, countersinking. These are the different operations we can perform on the lathe machine. Milling machine is not for our syllabus, so we go for the joining processes. In joining processes, there are two types. Or the joining process comes under these two types that is the fusion welding and the plastic or pressure welding so most of the welding processes comes under this fusion welding so when under this fusion welding it means we melt workpiece and the filler metal by using the current in manual metal arc welding okay and uh, by using the flame of uh, what we can say uh, by using the by burning the gases okay that acetylene and oxygen when we burn together we get some flame and by using that we can melt pillar metal as well as base metal okay so this is the gas welding then 
resistance welding that I have shown it, it this slide is not available here so the resistance welding comes under the uh, plastic or pressure welding where uh, elect, uh, current is passes current passed through the electrode and when we put workpiece in in between these two electrodes so it create resistance to flow of current and due to that the heat will generate at that point and it uh, melts that workpiece melts it means to its plastic state okay and when we apply pressure by using that electrode and when it <coughs> when we uh, release that electrode the joint will create okay so this one is the spot welding or the re resistance welding so this is the gas welding and arc welding hey, tumhi lihun pan ghetle mala vatte lihun ghetle ne yes sir in last lecture now soldering now see here soldering and brazing these are the small version of this uh, previous uh, joining processes now soldering is mainly used in electronic parts okay shakyato soldering kute use kele jata electronic part madhe use kele jata have you seen soldering no sir okay for that uh, soldering gun we use soldering gun <coughs> so it create near about 450 degree celsius temperature uh so we can here we can, we are not melting the base metal it upon jo work piece cha jo base metal ahe to apan melt karat nahi jo filler metal ahe okay jo filler metal kon ta hai the composition of solder used for different purposes are as given below so for soft solder that is lead plus tin okay so 37% lead and tin 63% okay this is the material then for medium soldering we can use 50% lead and 50% tin for plumber solder that 70% and 30% and for electrician solder it is 58% to 42% okay so these are the different uh, combinations we can use uh, i know that the most of the use of this soldering machine is in the electronic devices ओके बाकी डिवाइसेस मे पे वपर हो सगत जास्त जर सद्या सोल्डरिंग वपर होता से तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस मध्य होता आई विल आई विल सी इफ वी हैव वीडियो और सम अनदर स्लाइड्स सो वी हैव दिस स्लाइड्स i got this slides from the net so is that visible yes sir yes sir so we will see here step by step soldering and uh, brazing what is the soldering and what is the brazing we get something from here and uh, i'll check whether uh, videos are available on this pc if available i will show you otherwise we will see directly from the internet so soldering and brazing provide permanent joint to bond metal pieces so it provides permanent joint we know that then soldering and brazing process lie somewhere in between fusion welding and solid state welding so it is not totally a fusion welding it means if the fusion welding is there at that time what happen we uh, melt <coughs> both the work piece and the filler metal also filler rod also okay but here we are not going to melt the work piece तुम्हारा एक महत्वा गोष्ट लक्षा आए का हे वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस आ बाकी वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस मे का फरक है मेनली तो ये छोटा सापरले जता छोटा डिवाइसेस एंड द मेन डिफरन्स इज दैट इन रेग्युलर मैन्युअल मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग और गैस वेल्डिंग वी मेल्ट बोथ दी वर्क पीस मजे जे जो जे दोन पार्ट जोड़ा तो पार्ट पन मेल्ट करते आणि फिलर मेटल दोन्हीही मेल्ट करतो ओके गॅस वेल्डिंगमध्ये आणि मॅन्युअल मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंगमध्ये पण याच्यामध्ये सोल्डरिंगमध्ये किंवा ब्रेझिंगमध्ये फक्त जो फिलर मेटल आहे ओके जो फिलर मेटल आहे ज्याचं जो कमी टेम्पर आणि फिलर मेटल कोणते यूज केले जातात तर असे मेटल्स यूज केले जातात जे कमी टेम्परेचरला काय होतील 
मेल्ट होते हैं इफ यू सी मैनिक मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग इट रिक्वायर्ड नियर अबाउट फोर थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस और इन गैस वेल्डिंग इट रिचेस टू थ्री थ्री जीरो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस बट हियर बाय यूजिंग ओनली फोर फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके फोर हंड्रेड टू फोर फिफ्टी हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस वी कैन मेड दिस ज्वाइंट वी कैन क्रिएट दिस ज्वाइंट सो हियर इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू मेल्ट द वर्क पीस मुझे जे पार्ट दोन जोड़ा चाहे ते मेल्ट करना की गरज नहीं हेवजी जो फिलर मेटल अपन यूज करना रहे, जो कमी टेम्परेचरला मेल्ट होतो, तो अपन मेल्ट करना रहे, है जिथ दोन जॉइंट कराए तो अपन लवन है मजे फॉर एग्जाम्पल हे एक बेसिक समझ ले सपोज कि एक प्लेट है एंड इफ सपोज दिस वन इज द अनादर प्लेट जे अपल रेग्युलर चाहिए मैन्युअल मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग वगैरह अपन बेस मेटल जो है हापन वितर तो बरबर जो रॉड है इलेक्ट्रॉड तो वितर तो मगे दो कूल होके टेम्परेचर पस्तीस शे पास चार हजार डिग्री सेल्सियस पर्यत ओके तसच गैस वेल्डिंग मधे अपन फिलर मेटेरियल पेल्ट मेल्ट करतो, सॉरी मेल्ट करतो, करते वर्क पीस हे दो मेल्ट करतो, तथा अपने टेम्परेचर तेतीस डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थ्री फाइव डिग्री जीरो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस पर्यत जता ओके मे इत हाई टेम्परेचर पाजे मे हाई एनर्जी लगन है अपने साधी सोपी गोष है जर जास्त हीट डेवलप कराए तो जास्त मटेरियल यूज कराव लगे मटेरियल इन द फॉर्म करंट कि गैस ओके एंड एंड एट दैट पॉइंट वी कैन बर्न और मेल्ट दिस मेटल पीस एंड देन वी कैन क्रिएट परमनंट जॉइंट बट दीज जॉइंट्स आर स्ट्रॉगर जॉइंट्स दी जॉइंट्स आर स्ट्रॉगर जॉइंट एज कंपेर टू दिस सोल्डरिंग और ब्रेज ओके सोल्डरिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग हे अपने छोटे छोटे पॉइंट्स जोड़ने यूज कराए मग ये वर्क पीस वर्क पीस हा रॉड दो अपन मेल्ट करते परंतु सोल्डरिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग मधे जे दोन कॉम्पोनट्स अपने जोड़ा ओके सपोज इत हा दुसरा कॉम्पोनट है ये जर आप जोड़ा तो हा बेस मेटल जो है तो अपन वितरवत नहीं तर अपन का वितरल तो जो फिलर मेटल है जो चारशे पन्ना चारशे चारशे पन्ना डिग्री सेल्सियस पर्यत मेल्ट हो तो अपन यूज करना है इतना ये मेल्ट कर पसरव है सोल्डरिंग मधे प्रेजिंग मधे मग वी अलाउड टू कूल देन इट विल क्रिएट जॉइंट बट दीज जॉइंट्स आर नॉट स्ट्रॉगर As com uh, as compared to that manual metal arc welding and the gas welding, okay. So we cannot use that brazing or soldering to join the big shaft in the trucks in the railway. We cannot use that soldering and brazing. Do you get it? Because it was not creating that much strong uh, joints. Okay. कराला तुम्हाला basic difference क्या है? सो सोल्डरिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग सो वी विल सी सम स्लाइड्स आर देयर सो व्हाट दे गिवन वी विल सी हियर सम डिफरेंसेस आर हियर इफ वी हैव वीडियो वी विल सी हियर अदरवाइज सी वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल so in case of brazing joining of metal pieces is done with the help of filler metal okay joining ja hai te filler metal cha sahayane ita kela jata filler metal is melted and distributed by capillary action capillary action manje tithe ek choti shi jitha aplyala brazing karaycha hai tithe apan choti shi ashi ek he tayar karto 
म्हणजे त्याला कापून थोडंसं त्याच्यामधून ते फिलर मेटल असं मेल्ट झाल्यानंतर फ्लो झालं पाहिजे ओके तशी आपण तिथं योजना करतो आणि मग फिलर मेटल मेल्ट करून त्याच्यामधून सोडतो ओके देन इन दिस केस ओनली फिलर मेटल्स मेल्ट देर इज नो मेल्टिंग ऑफ वर्क पीस मेटल दिस इज द बिगर डिफरन्स द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ फिलर मेटल शुड बी मोर दॅन फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सिस ओके इट इज फ्रॉम फोर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस टू फाईव्ह हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस आय हॅव टोल्ड दॅट फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बट इट विल बी मोर दॅन दॅट ओके सो दिस वन इज द ब्रेझिंग प्रोसेस दॅट आय हॅव एक्सप्लेन्ड नाव ही ब्रेझिंग प्रोसेस आहे एकदम सिम्पल ब्रेझिंग प्रोसेस आहे ज्याच्यामध्ये या ठिकाणी हे मटेरियल आहे ओके फिलर मेटल त्याला आपण टॉर्चच्या सहाय्याने म्हणजे गॅसच्या सहाय्याने इथं आपण मग ॲसिटिलिनच वापरला पाहिजे गॅस असं काय नाही तर प्रोपेन मिथेल किंवा बऱ्याच वेळेला एल पी जी पण वापरतो याचं एक सिम्पल आणि चांगलं एक्झाम्पल म्हटलं तर आपल्याला बघायला मिळतं कुठं तर सोनाराच्या दुकानामध्ये हॅव यू सीन दॅट सो ही ही इज युझिंग दॅट शॉर्ट टॉर्च ओके and uh, he uh, allowed to burn the flame okay have you seen that bagitle ka tumhi sonar cha dukana madhe ekadi chain tutlele asu dya kiwa tumhi manjar jodne sathi gela tar tya thikani he brazing process use kele jata okay thoda sa to tumhala sangto thoda sa metal sonar kadun jaun anna mag sonar tumhala thode se tukde deto sone che okay sone che te sone che asta tas ka na te vegle metal che asta जे तिथं इझिली मेल्ट होतील आणि ती जी चैन आपली सोन्याची आहे ती जॉईंट फाईल ओके बघितलंय कोणी हॅलो हा तिथं कशी प्रोसेस असते एखादी सपोज सोन्याची चैन तुटलेली आहे आपण कन्सिडर करू आणि ती जर जोडायची असेल तर तो जो वर्कर असतो त्याच्याजवळ गेलं दाखवलं की तो बघतो आणि तो सांगतो की सोन्याची चेंज जोडायची आहे सोनाराकडून त्याच्यासाठी लागणारं फिलर मेटल आणा मग तो एक थोडंसे दोन तीन तुकडे देतो फिलर मेटलचे ओके आणि मग ते फिलर मेटल जे आहे ते आपण इथं आणतो तो सोनार बरोबर ती चेन अशी जोडतो त्याच्यामध्ये त्याच्यावरती फिलर मेटल ठेवतो आणि या गॅसने गॅसच्या फ्लेमने ते जे फिलर मेटल आहे ते बर्न करतो ओके सो दिस वन इज द व्हेरी सिम्पल प्रोसेस आणि बर्न झाल्यानंतर त्याच्यावरती काहीतरी चिमुटीने टाकतो बघा ते बघितलंय का सगळ्यात महत्वाचं yes, पावडर टाकतो पावडर सारखं थोडस टाकतो त्याच्यावरती सो समटाइम्स ते पावडर असेल त्याच्याकडे तर तो टाकतो नसेल तर नाही टाकत सो दिस इज रिलेटेड टू द फ्लक्स ओके सो दिस वन इज द्रेझिंग प्रोसेस दिस इज रिलेटेड टू द इंडस्ट्रियल दॅट इज टॉर्च ब्रेझिंग अँड द फर्नेस ब्रेझिंग okay this is not for ours deep brazing and the induction brazing these are the two different types of the brazing so assembled parts are typically dipped in a heated chemical bath which serves as a both fluxing agent and heat source to melt pre applied filler material mujhe je agodaraj je filler metal apan use kelela ahe tyachavarti te parat ekda heat karnyasathi apan tya bath madhe thevto त्याच्यामुळे ते परत एकदा त्या ठिकाणी मेल्ट होत आणि परत अजून अप्लाय होत देन सोल्डरिंग सोल्डरिंग इज व्हेरी मच सिमिलर टू ब्रेझिंग सोल्डरिंग आणि ब्रेझिंग हे जवळजवळ सिमिलर आहेत कारण दोन्ही मध्ये जे मेटल मेल्ट होत ते फक्त फिलर मेटल मेल्ट होत ओके पण ब्रेझिंग मध्ये आपण गॅसचा वापर करतो ते बर्न करण्यासाठी हीटचा वापर करतो आणि सोल्डरिंगमध्ये आपण सोल्डरिंग गन यूज करतो ओके ज्याच्यामधून करंट फ्लो करतो आपण आणि इलेक्ट्रोड जिथं आहे तिथे हीट जनरेट झाल्यामुळं फिलर मेटल आपण मेल्ट करू शकतो ओके सो दिस इज रिलेटेड टू सोल्डरिंग अँड ब्रेझिंग सो दीज आर द मटेरियल्स सो दिस वन इज द मटेरियल और फिलर मेटल्स वी कॅन यूज इन द ब्रेझिंग सो वी हॅव ॲल्युमिनियम सिलिकॉन कॉपर कॉपर फॉस्फरस मॅग्नेशियम सिल्वर निकेल ॲलॉयज सो दीज आर द डिफरंट फिलर मेटल वी कॅन यूज इन द ब्रेझिंग प्रोसेस 
now in soldering also we can use combination of tin lead that i have explained uh, lead and tin combination we can use then tin silver can be used tin silver lead then tin zinc then silver copper zinc and zinc aluminum alloys so these are the components which can melt at 450 degrees celsius okay manje uh, soft materials ahet thodkyat je कमी टेम्परेचर ला मेल्ट हो शकता था नहीं तो उड़ा टेम्परेचर ला अपन ये अप्लाई करो शक्त सोल्डरिंग साथी कौन थी तार मेटल वहाँ पर था सो दिस दिस है चल बेकी कौन थी वहाँ पर था टीन लीड शक्के तो वहाँ पर था लीड टीन कॉम्बिनेशन आस ले ली तार आस्ते थी ओके सो समटाइम्स यू कैन यूज़ योर टीन लीड सिल्वर then silver copper zinc and zinc aluminium alloys he will get a proper to you approach it okay abhishek yes yeah so this is the soldering machine ah store money for news card that no machine is told in kasha made sir the point of others आता एक कार है ते कार तो जो पॉइंट टूट ले लास्ट बार तेज़ से टिक टिक हम जब तार वगैरह जोड़ा जाए सिल वायर जोड़ा जाए स्टील तर आंटी सो उन्हें जो ती वे गई ना अति वे गई ती ब्रेजिंग जाली जाल जेट जाल टाइम हाँ जितना जाल जाल योड़े योड़े छोटे से टॉर्च आस्तो ते जब उन्हें जाल जाल फ्लो कर दो तो अनेक में आता तेज़ साइड ले एग्जाम्पल सो नेचे चेंज हो रहा है जैसे तेज़ और ती फिलर मटेरियल ठीक हो तो अनेक जाल तेज़ और ती फोकस कर दो फोर्स ने जाल दो तेज़ और ती अप्लाई के लगा दो तेज़ जब मोड़ते फिलर मेटल मेल्ट होता अनेक ती सोने चेन अपनी जॉइंट होती है कि � हाँ तो चीप ला पॉइंट हाँ तो आप पॉइंट ला जोड़ने साथी जे जॉइनिंग प्रोसेस वाप पर ले जाते हैं त्याहे सोल्डरिंग हाँ तो दोनों इतना डिफरेंस आए ओके ओके मुझे अच्छा मधे महत्वाचा मुद्दा क्या है माला सांगा चोता क्या दोनों ही मेटल मधे तब तब फिलर मेटल मेल्ट के लगा तब फिलर मेटल मंजे जे है इता तो ये मेटल फक्त मेल्ट के लिए जाता है, जाता जॉइंट कराया जाता है, ते वेल्ट मेल्ट के लिए जात नहीं, ओके? सर मंजे ते डाग नहीं प्रोसेस है, ते सोल्डरिंग प्रोसेस का? करेक्ट, वेरी गुड, जे डाग दे तो अपन ते सोल्डरिंग प्रोसेस, ओके? हाँ मैं एक बार आए का बगतो वीडियो आ सेल तर, चंगला जाए पनी आपी सीवर � असाला पाहिजे ओके थंबा है एक मिनट सोल्डरिंग वी विल सी सोल्डरिंग फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल सी ब्रेजिंग Is screen a high visible? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Sound point salu korto me. Sound nights are both a part of music. So this one is the soldering process. I think brazing is also there in that process. So you observe here. <coughs> this one is the soldering process. So this is solder here, that wire or the filler metal wire. Then this one is the soldering iron or we can say soldering gun. This is the electrode which is going to heat when we pass the current. This one is the stand and this is the workpiece where we are going to do the joints. <coughs> In electronic components we need 
this soldering suppose this components we have to join so here when we pass current when we pass current this electrode tip or electrode get heated and when we uh, touch this electrode uh, to that filler metal it will melt and this melted material we can use to make the joints see here like this so this is the joints so this is that much simple apan tela touch kele ki lagesh ti melt hote so this is a lead and tin combination wire or uh, now this is the brazing process <coughs> you can see here this is the filler metal brazing is essentially similar to soldering but it gives a much stronger joint than soldering it means brazing gives stronger joint than the soldering so this is the filler rod so we apply heat on the filler rod and when it melted we will allow him to flow to the joint so this is the flux so for this special skilled person is required brazing karayacha asel tar special skilled manus pahije karan tela barobar pahije to angle dyava lagto flame la tasach ta filler metal la okay understood yes sir yes soldering and brazing okay i will see if i have some more videos i'll show you so i think this video is for brazing so okay is that visible yes sir think that are generally available each of these types has a specific application <coughs> the so there are different types of the we will be talking about today is this one the is the common brazing In torch brazing, a flux is applied to the surfaces to be brazed. A torch is used to direct a flame against the workpiece and towards the joint. An oxygen-starved flame is typically used to prevent oxidation on the workpiece. Once the joint areas have reached suitable temperature, the filler wire is added. Due to the high temperature, See, the yeah. filler wire melts and creates so a joint. joint. Such type of pipes. The torch, which is used in brazing, is similar this to is the, the one used process. in gas welding. The fuels used in the torch vary based on the type of workpiece and filler used. Acetylene is used if the so filler the of workpiece has very high temperature tolerance, as acetylene burns at almost 3,000 degrees centigrade. The torch brazing is mostly performed manually. The skill of the workers is <coughs> crucial as they must be employed to control the flame, manipulate the handheld torch and also properly judge the temperature of the flame. This is done to ensure that a proper joint is obtained. Next is furnace brazing. In this type of brazing, a furnace is used to supply heat for brazing and is used to mass produce parts. It is suited for medium to high production rates of components. In furnace brazing, the parts and so the this one is the furnace are brazing. loaded into the furnace. The they are then heated to brazing filler metal at point like the joint This melts the brazing metal, metal which fuses the, the joints. The workpiece is then cool and the joint for the the work piece the joint. The next type of brazing <coughs> is dip brazing. In dip brazing, a molten salt bath or a molten metal bath is used as a heat source. 
The workpiece and the brazing metal are immersed in the molten bath. So the molten salt bath generally has a molten mixture here. of fluxing ingredients. Whereas in the metal bath method, the filler material which is used to join the workpiece is the heating medium. The molten metal is drawn into the joint by capillary action during submersion. Dip brazing method is generally used in places where the workpiece has a lot of joints. So, by dipping it in salt or metal baths, it is much easier to fuse the joints faster. The next type of brazing is called braze welding. Braze welding is somewhat similar to gas welding, where a filler wire is used to join two or more pieces of material. In gas welding, both the base metal and the filler are melted and then fused together on solidifying. Whereas in braze welding, the joint consists only of filler metal. This is because the base metal does not melt and therefore is not fused to the joint as in conventional fusion welding processes. Braze welding is most commonly used in repair work of pipes, beams, etc. Brazing has several advantages when compared to welding. Any metal can be joined with the help of brazing, including dissimilar metals, whereas this is not possible in most welding types. A few brazing methods like furnace brazing and dip brazing can be performed quickly and consistently. This permits very high production rates and allows the process to be automated. Some methods also allow for multiple joints to be brazed at the same time. Brazing can be applied to join thin parts which cannot be welded. This is normally done by infrared brazing where an infrared lamp is used to generate heat. Brazing in general also requires lesser heat and power than most fusion welding processes. But the downside to these advantages is that the strength of the brazed joints is lesser than the welded joints. Brazing cannot be used to join components which are required to operate at locations with high temperature. This is due to the low melting temperature of brazing metals. Another intriguing disadvantage of brazing is that the color of the brazing metal and the base metal might not match sometimes. This might not be aesthetically pleasing at some places. Well, that's it guys. Hope you understood what brazing is. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye. Nahe nahe. या टॉर्चचा मेटल कटिंगसाठी वापर नाहीत करत कारण त्याची तेवढी हीट नाही गॅस वेल्डिंग मधले जे टॉर्च आहे त्याचा आपण जास्त करून वापर करतो ओके इज एनीवन हॅविंग एनी डाउट नो सर नाही सर ओके सो आई थिंक विथ दिस वी हॅव कवर्ड सेकंड सेकंड चॅप्टर सो we have some diagrams we will see here so do one thing draw this diagram of brazing okay and today uh, i think your test uh, class test is there so in that class test 10 question will be of basic civil engineering and 10 questions will be of Uh, basic mechanical engineering so for that you have to study only first chapter pump compressor and turbine get it okay yes sir okay. so today is the 27 roll number 1 present sir 2 yes sir 3 yes sir 4 roll number 4 absent 5 present sir 6 present sir 7 present 
Present, sir. Eight. Yes, sir. Nine. Present, sir. Ten. Present, sir. Eleven. Yes, sir. Twelve. Yes, sir. Thirteen. Yes, sir. Fourteen. Fourteen. One four. Dinesh. Dinesh. Yes, sir. Okay. Fifteen. One five. Absent. Sixteen. Yes, sir. Seventeen. Roll number seventeen. Pradeep Dhawre. Eighteen. Yes, sir. Nineteen. Present. Twenty. Present, sir. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Absent. Twenty-two. Yes, sir. Twenty-three. Present. Twenty-four. Present. Twenty-five. Present. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. Present, sir. Twenty-eight. Present, sir. Twenty-nine. Present, sir. Thirty. Present, sir. Thirty-one. Okay. Present, sir. Ah, uh, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Absent. Present, sir. Present. Okay. Thirty-three. Present. Thirty-four. Present, sir. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Present, sir. Present, sir. Okay. Thirty-seven. Present, sir. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Absent. Thirty-nine. Present, sir. Forty. Four zero. Present, sir. Forty-one. Present, sir. Forty-two. Forty-two. Forty-three. Present, sir. Forty-four. <coughs> Forty-four. Absent. Forty-five. Present, sir. Forty-six. Present, sir. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Absent. Forty-eight. Present, sir. Forty-nine. Okay. Fifty. Present, sir. Fifty-one. Present, sir. Two. Present, sir. Three. Present, sir. Four. Fifty-four. Absent. Fifty-five. Present, sir. Fifty-six. Present. Fifty-seven. Present, sir. Fifty-eight. Present, sir. Fifty-nine. Yes, sir. Sixty. Yes, sir. Sixty-one. Yes, sir. Sixty-two. Yes, sir. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Okay. So I will call up central number. Roll number four, fifteen, seventeen, seventeen. Kota Magashi. Pradeep Dhawre. Okay, get out there. Twenty-one. <coughs> Thirty-five. Thirty-eight, forty-two, forty-seven, fifty-four, sixty-three. Basti sahe gaye? Okay. Azun. Ah, sir, basti sahe. Okay. Azun, yahan to kona hai ka? Forty-four, tum chila wali, thik hai. Okay. Uh, with this, we have covered second chapter.
now in next lecture we will start uh, fourth chapter that is thermodynamics sir ha chapter cha notes ha deto na tumhala ha chapter cha notes notes deto ani mcq pan deto doni ekatras deto ala have you drawn this yes sir yes sir so write this difference also soldering and brazing matlab hai char point atte likhun gya स्टॉप हियर from next chapter we will see a uh, fourth chapter that is thermodynamic and third chapter we will keep it as a, at last okay so thank you all of you